It's that time of year when homeowners are cranking up the thermostat to combat chilly temperatures that overnight are starting to dip below zero into the minus double digits. Paul Callowert is an HVAC service technician with E.G. Penner Building Center Mechanical. Fall is a particularly busy season in his line of work. He spends most of his days conducting furnace inspections as homeowners want to ensure that their equipment is functioning properly heading into the long, cold winter months ahead. When it comes to your home's heating system, whether gas or electric, proper furnace maintenance and routine inspection are both key. For a professional to look at it annually, uh, yes, there's things that, that should be done. Uh, the heat exchanger looked at. Um, it may not necessarily be a cleaning at that point, but you want to make sure that it's running safely and performing to where it's supposed to. Callowert says that while proper furnace maintenance can not only extend the life of your furnace, the result of failing to maintain your home's heating system could cause significant damage. Most of the issues he sees when on an inspection are fairly common. Uh, dirty filters, um, a blocked fan, um, on high efficiency, the secondary heat exchanger is blocked. Um, potentially the furnace overheating, um, uh, sometimes just age of a furnace, you can have a crack developed over time, uh, fatigue of the metal. And while a lot of the maintenance issues Calawert comes across are fairly routine, ignoring them could ultimately prove deadly. And you may not even be aware of the single most dangerous aspect of an improperly maintained furnace. Carbon monoxide, odorless, colorless gas that uh, could potentially uh, kill you. Normally it's uh, caused uh, by a crack in the heat exchanger inside the furnace where the combustion takes place. A crack can develop in there and uh, the carbon monoxide can be drawn into the airstream. It's supposed to be a sealed from where it burns till it goes out the chimney and out the house. Uh, a blocked flue could be a potential hazard where you're, you know, especially on standard furnaces where the flue is wide open to the inside of the house, that could possibly downdraft into the house and carbon monoxide could come into the house. Even for homeowners whose primary heat source is electrical as opposed to natural gas, it's still important to perform routine furnace inspections. You do have electrical inside of there. Uh, you do re you know, need to have it cleaned and inspected the same way because it could overheat if it's plugged up. Um, you want to maintain that the, uh, the elements are all working properly and up to uh, its potential. Um, and also you want to make sure your electrical connections are tight because that could cause some arcing and then could cause you some issues. One of the easiest and least expensive things a homeowner can do to extend the life of their furnace is to pay particular attention to the furnace filter. It's an important part of the furnace because it guards against um, your fan getting blocked, your AC coil getting blocked, and then that will uh, cause your furnace to run hotter and overheat. So if you have potential for overheating, then you've, the furnace can be more susceptible to cracking and, and the life expectancy of the furnace will go down. Callowert suggests checking your furnace filter once a month and changing it approximately every three months, depending on the level of dust accumulation. And while routine maintenance is essential for prolonging the life of your furnace, he says there is another piece of equipment that no home heated by natural gas should ever be without. The single most important thing is to have a carbon monoxide detector and make sure that it's, uh, they have expiry dates on it and make sure it's within the, the expiry date, make sure that it's, uh, that it's a newer one. Wilf Dykstra is the electrical plumbing manager at EG Penner Building Center. With all of the options available when it comes to carbon monoxide detectors, how does a homeowner know which product is right for their home? Depending on your heating system, that, that's how you'd have to match it up to. I mean, most, of, most heating systems would be natural gas, propane on occasion. That's why we carry both styles. And the, the natural gas style also works for, uh, for wood-burning fireplace. It's the same, uh, same product, basically. The best unit that you could have would be a, a hardwired unit where it's wired right into your house um, electricity, 120 volt. 
and that would be the best strictly because it can't be removed and it can't be like if you get a battery style the battery can die at that point it's not doing anything you get the plug-in style if somebody decides they they don't want to hear the alarm they unplug it they most likely forget to plug it back in so the the wired in is the the safest. A carbon monoxide detector is mandatory in all new home construction. However, Dykstra urges all homeowners to consider installing a CO detector in their home. Everybody should have a carbon monoxide detector. It's the best 50 to 60 dollars you could possibly spend. I mean, it's safety wise. For Steinbeck Online, I'm Karen Black.